The book I Have Come to Take You Home presents a collection of spiritual teachings from Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. It centers on the journey of the soul's awakening and enlightenment, which is only possible with the compassionate assistance and wise guidance of a living master. Through the master's transmission of the Guan Yin method of meditation, we can all discover our true inner nature and attain ultimate freedom from the cycle of life and death. We will now continue sharing the fourth part of the book, I Have Come to Take You Home. Chapter 4, Finding the Light, Understanding God. You see, seeing is believing. God is too abstract, too intangible for us. If Hes is not brought down nearer to our understanding a little, how can Hes expect us to believe? This is blind faith. This is why I left to find enlightenment, because I couldn't just read the Bible, read the scriptures and say, I believe Buddha, I believe God. I had to have proof. I pray to God every day, please, if you exist, show me the way so I can find you, contact with you somehow. Open my eyes, open my ears, let me see, let me know at least your love, let me feel, let me know that you take care of us in some way or another. So, after enlightenment, after initiation, you will feel every day that God is taking care of you. Truly, that is so in all ways, in any situation, small things, big things. God does really take care and love us and smooth things out for us, has helped us in accidents, in sickness, has helped us in our dark days, helps us in every way. Then you may know that God truly exists. You will feel the overwhelming love power protecting and loving you. That is God. This is why people say, God is love. We have only to go upward to a higher and glorious world, to be near our Almighty God. The ocean of love and mercy is what we call God. Has is not a being, although has might manifest himself sometimes as a being to let us feel close, to be able to touch him and communicate with him. Otherwise, has is only an ocean of love and mercy and blessing and compassion. Everything that is good and joyous, that is God. We ourselves at the moment, even without initiation, without knowing our innate wisdom, our inborn heavenly power, we are still God. Anytime you manifest love toward your neighbor, toward your children, your friends, your relatives, or anyone in need, you manifest God. Understand? So, the more we manifest this kind of compassion, love, mercy, and wisdom, the more we are near to God. But God, in this sense, is too limited. We can only help a handful of people at a time. God, in the ultimate sense, can help the whole world. So, this is the goal we strive to achieve. This is what Buddha and Jesus achieved. When the Buddha was alive, he told a story about four blind persons who touched an elephant and described it. The one who touched his ears said, Wow, an elephant is like a fan, a big fan. And another one who touched his leg said, An elephant is like the pillar of a house. And the other one who touched his nose said, The elephant looks like a water pipe, a hose. And the one who touched his tail said, An elephant is like a broomstick. This is how we see God. This is how ordinary people see God. And this is how practitioners from different levels see God. Therefore, it is said that God is within you. Buddha is in your mind. That is the meaning of it. In the universe, all things are created by energies, and we call that the creative force, or we might call it the creator, because the energies have been scattered in all different directions in the universe, 
and have become different worlds and beings. And now these beings have acquired an individual state of thinking or level of consciousness, and according to the interaction between each other, they will generate another kind of energy. We will divide it into two categories. The first one we can call positive energy or God nature, heavenly force or Buddha nature. The second category we can call negative nature, evil or dark force or the opposite of goodness. Now the goodness and the positive energy are side by side with the negative energies. Whenever any being, be they angels or earth people, whenever they generate goodness. Tolerance, love, compassion, and cooperation with each other. Then these energies will be categorized as good or God force, positive power. The more beings generate this kind of goodness, the more positive power we have in the atmosphere or in our world. And whenever we or any beings generate hatred, bad thoughts, or any kind of negative tendencies, actions, or speech. We add more into the negative storehouse of the atmosphere, that we call evil, and this force will reap more hatred, more wars, more disharmony in our world, or any world that these people happen to reside in. It is like electricity; there are two poles, one negative and the other positive, and when the plus and minus are put together, it creates power. Actually. Electricity is neither positive nor negative, but without positivity and negativity, we have no electricity. So it is the same with all things. God is neither good nor bad. Has is only an ocean of indifference and love. Has knows no hatred, no dirtiness, no bad, and no sin. Has discriminates not between bad and good, beautiful and ugly. So we call him the ocean of love and mercy. I have come to take you home. It's free for download at smchbooks.com, and has been published in Arabic, Alaksis or Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Czech, Chinese, English, French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Korean, Polish, Spanish, Turkish, Romanian, and Russian, etc. Not only is a plant-based diet kinder to animals, it's better for the environment, as animal farming produces more greenhouse gas emissions than all motorized transport combined. It is also healthy. Vegans have lower incidences of heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. Matthew Pritchard, vegan. Spiritual viewers. It was a joy that you could join us for today's words of wisdom.